a window is to be framed with 34 feet of lumber. If the width of the window is 5.5 feet, what is its length? So let's draw a sketch to see if we can better understand what's going on in this problem. So we have a window, and because it doesn't say anything otherwise, I'm going to presume that this is just sort of a standard rectangular window. So I'm going to draw myself a little rectangle here. And they're telling me that it's going to be framed with 34 feet of lumber. And if we think about what that means to frame a window, it's like framing a picture. That's the part that goes around the edges, around the rim of the window. So that distance there. So when we talk about that distance around the outside of any geometric figure, that's the idea of talking about the perimeter. So I'm just going to jot that down so we know what we're looking for here. We know that the perimeter is going to use 34 feet of lumber, so we can presume that that perimeter is going to be 34 feet. Now they've also told me that the width of the window is 5.5 feet, five and a half feet. So let's go ahead and have list our width here as five and a half feet. And then they're asking us to find the length. And we're not sure what that length is, so we're going to use the letter L to represent the length. So I'm going to use a capital L so it doesn't look like a one. So let L equal the length. That's going to be the length of our window. So since we're looking for the perimeter, we need to use the perimeter formula for a rectangle. And the perimeter formula for rectangles, as you might remember, perimeter is when we add all the way around. And remember with a rectangle, we have two lengths plus two widths. That's going to equal the perimeter. So we can write that formula down. Now we can substitute in the values that we know. We know that the perimeter is going to equal 34. That was that information up there. And so that's going to equal 2 times the length. Do we know what the length is? No, that's what we were trying to find. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that as 2L plus 2 times the width. Do we know what the width is? Oh yeah, we jotted that down over here, remember? The width we know is 5.5 feet. So now we've substituted in all of the pieces, and notice we have an equation that just has this one variable left. So that's what we're going to be solving for. We're going to solve for L, which is going to tell us the length of the window. So let's go ahead and solve this equation out. We have some simplifying to do on the right side of the equation. So we're going to have 34 is just going to stay there on the left side. I can't do anything right now with this 2L. But that 2 times 5.5 I can certainly do. 2 times 5.5 is going to give us 11. Now the right side is as simplified as it can get, so now we can kick into solving mode. We're going to subtract 11 from both sides of the equation. Just start getting that L alone, so we subtract the 11 first. And we can see that we have 34 minus 11 is going to give us 23 on the left side. And on the right side, we're just left with the 2L. And now we're going to go ahead to get that L by itself. We need to divide by 2. We're going to divide by 2 over here as well. And we can see that that's not going to come out evenly. Now this problem gave us decimals in the beginning. Remember up here they told us that the window was 5.5 feet. So that gives us permission to use decimals in our final answer. So 23 divided by 2, if we go ahead and do that division, we're going to see that L is going to equal 11.5. And so that's telling us that the length of the window should be 11.5. And it's 11.5 what? Well, remember all of our measurements were in feet, so it would be in feet. So 11.5 feet is the length of our window. Now remember, it's always a good idea to check our answer to be sure that we've got it right. So we could easily do that by just kind of finishing labeling out our little picture up here. 
we know that the width is 5.5, so I'm going to go ahead and put 5.5 on both of my widths. Now, I'm obviously not to scale because my length ended up being longer than my width, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put the 11.5 here and 11.5 here. And then I'm going to just add my way all the way around. 11.5 plus 11.5, that would give me 17. So if I add those two together, that's going to be 17. And if I add these two together, notice I'm adding exactly the same number, so that's also going to give me 17. So 17 plus 17 equals 34. That should be my perimeter, and sure enough, that's what the perimeter is. So we can do a check back on our sketch here just to make sure that we've worked the problem correctly. And now we know for sure that we have the right answer here.